Hello, everybody. So today I'm doing a new episode of Versus. Versus is a series that, if some of you don't know what it is, um, it's where I compare two films that are similar to each other, like I did with White House Down and Olympus Has Fallen, or an original and a remake. Versus series, I feel, has got quite a good reaction so far. The videos get quite a lot of views, which I wasn't expecting, like the last one, King Kong vs. King Kong, I didn't expect it to get as many views as it had today. I am doing an original and a remake, and that is Robocop 1987 versus Robocop 2014. I'm going to be speaking about the things that are similar about these films, and the things that are very different about them, and which one I think, in my opinion, is better. So first I'm going to speak about Robocop 1987, which is directed by Paul Verhoeven. Um, he is best known for like Starship Troopers and many other sort of films with satire. Like Robocop 1987 has a lot of satire to it. It has its its fake adverts in it, which there's a family at one point that are playing a board game that's like called Nuke, and it's just it's hilarious that thing in there. It's got the same story as well. Um, both films have the same story, but it's it's Alex Murphy who is played by Peter Weller in this film. The story of Robocop 1987 is Alex Murphy um, is out with a recruit on her first day, uh, Clarence Badica, Badica um, played by Kurt Wood Smith, and they are called out to something that's happening in this warehouse. And Alex Murphy is shot down by a gang and is killed. Now, Robocop 1987 is incredibly gory. This has an 18 rating. Um, but the remake has a 12A rating. I will speak about that when we go to the remake. But it has this scene right here, just right from the beginning, is there to shock. It's very gory. Um, Alex Murphy gets his arm shot off and is killed. And then Omnicorp have the Robocop program and they use his body parts to make Robocop. Um, with this, Alex Murphy does have a family, but you never see the family in the film. Um, with the remake, I will speak about how that is the same as well. You never see the family. You see a scene where Robocop goes back to his old, um, his his house. Um, Alex Murphy goes back to his old house and sort of sees the family, uh, imagines them there and stuff, but they are gone. Son also watches a show called TJ Laser, and the thing about TJ Laser is his son asks him, hey dad, can you do that? It's the thing where like he pulls out his gun and like swings it around with his finger. And the thing with this is... With this, you are seeing that Alex Murphy, he has the Robocop brain. He can't arrest people, really, at first, because... Well, he can't arrest the people of the Force, because the Force is very corrupt in this film, and things in the Force are in with these gang members that are, like, killing and stuff about the whole Robocop thing. He can't arrest um, these people at one point, because he tries to hold up a gun at um, the, like, the, the boss of the, the police thing. I forgot what their name would be, the deputy or whatever, he tries to hold up the gun to him and he can't because he is controlled by this system, by the robot and he's trying to hold the gun at him, but then this is gonna this these videos will have spoilers and stuff, but around near the end, um some, someone gets killed which makes it so he can then arrest and will kill this person. And you see that his mind over the whole film um changes and that in the end where someone says, What's your name? instead of being like Robocop, he actually says Murphy, so his whole sort of state of mind has came back. The cool thing about this one as well is they use stop motion. There is these big, big robots in it. I forgot the name of the robots. So I have my computer in front of me so I can um, I can remember the name of the robots as well. Oh, the Omnicorp have because um, there's a really incredibly um, what's the what's the robot called? Ed um, Ed two zero. Nine is an enforcement droid. Um, there's a scene where they try to show this enforcement droid, but what happens is it just plummets bullets into this guy and completely kills this guy. It's just blood everywhere and everything. It's just it's mad that scene, um, and it it shows a corrupt police system and things. And it's Robocop 1987 is really really great for its time. The special effects are great. Um, with the like I said, with the stop motion of this robot and things, and it looks it looks really cool, and maybe when you look at it now, it is dated a little bit, but it still looks really fun for the film, and Robocop is just a whole lot of fun. The action is good. It's it's violent, like, ultra-violent, but it's just, it's 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 fun violent with uh, with how crazy it really goes, and um, with the line, dead or alive, uh, you're coming with me, um, it's just one of the best lines, um, and this has so many great satire things to it that Paul... Verhoeven um, has put in there. 
So Robocop 1987 is fun and things. And now let's go on to comparing it with Robocop 2014. So Robocop 2014 stars... Let me get the people up. I'm really professional with this stuff. It's direct, well, directed by Jose uh, Pad Padaha, who directed um, Elite Squad and the sequels. Well, I've not seen them. I own them, but I really need to watch them. I was going to watch them before speaking about this, just to see if the... I've heard the action's really good on them, so I'm probably going to watch them very soon. And maybe speak about them, I'm going to be doing a thing now, which people have suggested, well, someone has suggested that I will review a classic film every week. It won't be something so old, but it will be something from years back or whatever that I will be talking about every now and again. So this time is directed by him and stars Joel uh, Kenneman as um, Robocop, um, well, Alex Murphy. It also has Gary Oldman as the, the scientist who makes Robocop in this. In this, um, And Samuel L. Jackson is also in this. So Robocop is set more in the future. It's very different in its ways. Um, Robocop 2014, um, Samuel Jackson is on the TV at the beginning, and the way that they show these, that there's not the whole thing with the robots not working and stuff. There's uh, the ED two zero nine are out on the streets in this um, part of the country, and the army are trying to help. There's suicide bombers and all these other crazy things going on, and you see all the robots, but they are they are very CGI this time. Um, the way the Robocop is taken down, well, Alex Murphy, gonna st Alex Mur the way that Alex Murphy is taken down this time is there's two corrupt cops in his force and he there's things that happen, he's trying to find out that there's gang, but these two people in his force are working with this gang and they don't want anything to happen. It's also the boss of the police force is also corrupt again and is in and all this stuff and Alex Murphy gets a bomb on his car and he's at his house um, and he you do see the wife and kid this time he lives with the wife and kid and everything but what happens is a car blows up outside his house now you don't know really if he dies but he loses he gets very scarred and burned and loses his body parts like but it's not really as gory because this is a 12a you're not seeing an arm fly off and blood spraying everywhere you are just seeing a car blowing up and a guy flying backwards and not really properly seeing what's happening there. Um, and then he is part of the yeah the Robocop thing. Now the only thing that, for this being a 12A, um, some people complained about it saying like, because the, 12, the 12A rating is that kids under 12 can still go in, their parents can still take them. It's like a 12, 12A is like 12 adult or something, like that's what it means and kids can still get into this and people sort of moan about that. They were like, this film is a bit more than 12A. There's there's one scene in particular which is, it looks quite horrible because it's CGI, but you see that all of um, Robocop's thing is opened up and Alex Murphy's body parts are still there and you're seeing his lungs and his heart still pumping properly like inside these glass cases that are inside him and it's sort of horrible to see and you're seeing like his brain properly and stuff, but it's not like really as gory as Robocop 1987 was. Um, there's not really satire to this. There is there is still the Samuel Jackson has this whole TV show and he's talking about all these the Robocop program and the Alex Murphy and stuff. But it's just you're not really properly getting a look into the, the satire or stuff and you're not seeing these fake adverts again and it, it just it's not as fun as the original. Robocop twenty fourteen feels really, really different than the original film. Many people have said that it's a reimagining, and yes, I can agree with that because it doesn't even it has same subject matters, but it just doesn't really have the complete original story of 1987 version because there's different writers this time. It's still got yes, Robocop there, still got Omnicorp and those type of things, but it's more you are still getting the whole um, Alex Murphy is getting his state of mind back. He's at first he's Robocop and he's just taking commands and everything like he did in the original film he's taking commands at first but then his body starts to take over he remembers his old life he remembers his family and stuff and with Robocop 2014 with him remembering his family the wife his wife um wants him back at home his son wants him back at home and he goes back home as Robocop and it's like the family are like they're a bit weird about it at first and they don't really know what to think about it because the son the son puts his hand dad's leg and they're trying to connect again as a family but things are getting corrupt again with the cops and stuff and um he's like with the state of mind come back the thing about this one as well is you see the original robocop suit 
but then Michael Keaton's in this, and he's like, you know what we should do? Make this still black. That's not even Michael Keaton's accent. I don't know what accent that was meant to be, but he's just like, let's, let's make it black. So they make the suit, yeah, they make it black, and it's just like, why? Why are we why are we making the suit black? So the suit gets made black, it's very weird, it has like red shines out of here. Um with the violence of this this time, there is some moments of violence, but you're not seeing blood or blood spraying anywhere in this film like you have in the original the when it was like the eighteen version. Or well, the in the original film, why I was saying the eighteen version is the original film, you're not seeing that. You do see a little bit of blood because you have the whole thing of the um him not being able to arrest people again, like he puts up his arm, and when he does, there's someone else that will shuts him off at one point, he gets shut off by someone who can control him through the system now, because it's more futuristic and things now, um, he also has like, sat nav and things, and he's got the whole, he's trying to find, the whole thing, he's, he's trying to find the gang, because he can find them through the computer and stuff, um, and those type of things, but it's just, the line, dead or alive, you come with me, is setting this again, but it just, feels really forced and doesn't feel as good when it's placed in here. It's pretty boring as well. It Robocop 2014 is it's pretty boring. Like, yes, people can have fun with the action, but it's just it's not really fun action. After a while it's just boring action, like you're seeing him jumping on things and I wish they had sort of I, I know because it's 1987 it was stop motion and the stop motion worked best at that time but it's just it's forced over like bearing CGI and you're seeing all these CGI robots and things and CGI bullets and stuff and there is a tiny bit of blood at the end because Mark, like I said about the whole not being able to rest he can in the end because something gets someone gets killed and then Mark, Mark can get shot in the head by Robocop because he's corrupted the whole like um, police force and he's working for Omnicorp and he's made pretty much his life a misery because of all this stuff happening and um, you just see the camera goes up and you see like blood like it's, has gone across the floor but you can tell it's just like CGI stuff um, and there's a whole like scene where they had to do it in night vision because you're not going to be seeing like blood and stuff at that point so you're just seeing it through his eyes and you're seeing ever again flashes of bullets and stuff. Um, Robocop 2014 is, is something that I didn't really enjoy. I, I thought some elements were we're okay of it, but it just it's it is pretty much a reimagining. It's not completely a remake, really. It's because its eyes are different, like with the car getting blown up and um, things, and him still being able to see his family. There's not the whole recruit. Um, he's got like a best friend in the force in in this remake. Um, it's not the satire things. It's not the complete violence. His suit is black. Um, he has to do like training things, but he didn't really have to in the original. He just can go straight out. In the world out there, he has to be like training and try and make it really cool because he's in a warehouse like shooting all these other made up robots and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's the thing they made it sort of like try and make it more futuristic with more robots and things. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't really do any better or bring anything new to the table. It's a very unnecessary remake that didn't need to get made, and that's why Robocop 1987 is better in my opinion. Now, I will do the quick comparing things, and I've already said the comparing things, but like I said, um, with Robocop 1907, his wife and kid have gone and left his home ever like since he died, because they just left, thought he was dead, but he's been taken to the Robocop program, they don't really know about the Robocop program, so he's just been, they've just left the house because they want to leave that house. Um, in the remake, he does have a family, he does see his wife and kid, um, and with the killing, um, in the Robocop 1907, his body parts blown off and then pretty much loses so many body parts that they only have body parts that they can make and have one metal arm and stuff. Um, but instead, in the remake, blown up by a car. Um, there is still the corrupt cops and stuff, but it's um, people, he's got his, he's got more friends in the force and it's not just someone that is a new recruit. Um, the, there's the TV, there's a TV show in the Robocop remake which Samuel Jackson um, presents and people all over the world see it and they know about the Robocop thing. Robocop um, can't find people as well in the original. He can find them, either he can find these gang members by searching the streets and stuff, but in the remake he has like all this internet inside him and it's more technology and things. And there's like one scene where he is at like a press conference, the new Alex Murphy, and he's in the Robocop suit, and he sees a paedophile because he can track him like in the thing and he jumps at him and pretty much arrests him. Um, the suit is just awesome in the original, but it just wasn't as cool in the remake with them making it black. It was pretty weird to um, 
see it like that. There's not the same, sort of the there's amazing special effects in the original. Really cool. It's incredibly violent, but the remake is 12A. Not as violent. Has some little bits of violence, but not as violent as it could be. And like just the more futuristic things. Like I said, with this Robocop uh, 1987 versus Robocop 2014, in my opinion, 1987 is a well made film and is much better than the 2014 remake. I just have so much fun. I can watch the original again and again, but I don't feel like Robocop 2014 is a film that I could watch again because I found it a little bit boring and it's a lot longer than the original film and just some things feel really out of place and like I've said, more of reimagining. So that is my opinion on this. I say if you like the original Robocop, I'd say maybe have a little look at the Robocop remake, see what you think of it. Maybe some of you out there will like it, but this is my opinion that I just don't really like the Robocop remake. I just didn't think it bought anything good or new, and it wasn't really fresh and just was pretty boring and basic at the end of the day. But let me know your opinions and what you think. If you think the Robocop 1987 is an awesome film like me, then say. Or if you do actually like the remake, stay down there. And like I've said, leave in the comments down below what you would like to see for a next Versus episode. Um, I do have my ideas what I would like to do next. I did a bit of a weird setup today. I thought, you know, let's sit on the sofa. We've got these weird colored eyes on the radiator. Yoshi has on these with glasses, I just thought this would be a nice little setup. Say what you think of the setup as well and stuff. And this is where I'm going to be sitting for my DVD and Blu-ray collection update videos. But that is all for this Versus episode. Like I said, send in the comments what you want for the next Versus episode. And click here for the Versus playlist so you can watch the other two episodes. Or if you just go to my, my channel page, you will see that the Versus playlist is on there. Thank you very much, and I shall see you again very, very soon. There is a revisiting episode coming this week as well, so keep a lookout for that. Thank you very much. Goodbye.